A military coup in the Philippines has not yet caused the country to break down, yet it is just it just might and bring the nation into a prolonged civil war unless immediate action is taken. Navy and Air Force aircraft alike based out of Kadena are to hit the coup water air bases. Attacking civilian targets in the vicinity of Manila cannot be obtained until better intel is acquired. To do so now would simply result in heavy civilian casualties with nothing to show for it. Aircraft based out of Kadena are also to show the flag by flying low over Manila in a way that clearly identifies them as United States aircraft, symbolizing that the coup plotters are not in control nor supported by the international community. The coup plotters have access to the nation's F-5s at ba Baza and a squadron of helicopters at Saint Louis Point. Destroy as many of them on the ground as possible. They have been deployed. They have deployed available anti-air defenses and are believed to even fish confiscated insurgent man pads out of evidence rooms to bolster their defenses. While the F-5s have been spotted armed and standing strip alert, it is unclear whether they will actually deploy. Nonetheless, be careful. Weather is poor, so you'll have to take riskier attack profiles. It is nonetheless worth the risk, as losing four fighter crews is worth preventing a civil war that could kill at least 4,000 people. A wing of F-15s, new USC, new USMC F-14Qs, and support aircraft is available at Kadena. Good luck. MCON State C, unrestricted admission. So, there's our mission briefing, and we have one day to complete it. One second. Um, I had to se select my G13 profile so I could actually control time from my keyboard. Um, so let's see, what do we got here? At Futemna, we've got, looks like four KC-130Js ready to go right now, four unavailable, and 16 Tomcats with two ready to go and another what is that, seven in reserve status? And Kadena, we've got four KC-135s ready to go. Another six standing on alert, or under maintenance, so unavailable. Um, we've got two E-3Bs, and we have a total of eight F-15s ready to go. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to arm my F-15s. Let's see, these are Amram lights. So, what's our distance here between the here and the Philippines? Actually, first thing to do. All right, so there's our targets. So we have about 800 nautical miles to go to 850 or 810. Let's just call it 820 nautical miles to our target. So there's Manila. We have to do a flyover there. We have a base of helicopters there. We are picking up a radar unit. And we've got an AR-320 there. What's the range on this? Um, 300 nautical mile max range. Okay, so there's our two targets. So, as for what we're going to do, I think we arm the rest of our F-14s for strike missions. So what do we got? We've got SLAMs, AGM-84Es. These are not the SLAM extended range. So we have a range of 55 nautical miles. Um, or we can go with pave weight two. We have pave weight twos. More pave weight twos. Um, we could, or we could go with 500 pounders. Um, or a thousand pound bombs. You know, I think I'm gonna go with the thousand pound bombs. Not like we have a shortage of ammo. Um, 
So I'm going to break this up a little bit. I'm going to go four armed. What's our strike range with this? Deck altitude 200 feet. What I want to know no, though. So we have, oh, we only have 24 available. Um, actually, I'm sorry, we have 800,000 pound bumps available. Um, but what I really want to know is what the strike range is. 550 nautical miles. And what did I say we had the, the distance? Eh. 830, so we'd have to tank halfway there. What else do we have? What do we have for a long range strike? So if we went, say, 640. That's four 500 pound bombs. 600, that would give us two 2,000 pounders. Two 1,000 pound bombs. Um, four 2,000 pounders. Um, you know, I think we'll go Mark 83 laser guided bombs. With four of them, that'll give us a 570 nautical mile strike radius. So we're going to arm... Four with those. And we're probably going to have to tank up anyway on our way there, but... Um, ready, arm... And our last three, 2,000 pound bombs, four 2,000 pound bombs. So these three will have to tank up no matter what on the way there. But I don't think that's the end of the world. Okay, so all of our, other than the two that we already have readied, are going to go um, all of our F-14s will go in strike mode. Our F-15s, and the reason for that is because our F-15s can only do air-to-air. -air. Oh, wrong base. So, Kadena. Let's get all of our Strato tankers. Boom and Drogue. Won't have any of those ready for three hours. So we'll go, let's see, did we do AMRAM? What do we have for AMRAMs? Oh, we got plenty of AMRAMs. 185 minutes at 200 nautical miles. Let's go, what did we do? Did these AMRAM lights? Yeah. So two AMRAM, two Sidewinders, and then our other four We'll go AMRAM mediums. We do have, this is 1999, so we do have sparrows. But I am going to avoid using sparrows if at all cost. Um, could do that. Two AMRAMs, two spare or four sparrows, two sidewinders. Eh. I uh, I want to avoid using sparrows unless I absolutely have to. Okay, so it'll take three hours for those to get ready. I'm assuming I think it's three hours for the Tomcats too. Six hours for the Tomcats, so no striking for at least six, for at least six hours. But that'll give us some time to. That'll give us some time to, you know, take out any 
fighters that scramble to engage us. So I want to point right there. Rename the. Oh no, I don't want to rename that. Um, all right, so I'm going to set up a quick racetrack pattern right there. AEW. Um, here we're early warning. Okay, so we use those, those two points. We'll sign our support mission. All right, so keep one unit on station, no one third rule. Where is our E3s? Send both of our E3s to this mission. Keep one on station. And I think we're good. Trans cruise loiter. Single aircraft is flight size. And M mission MCON should be radars on, yes. OECM on, yes. Okay. So that'll be our. Actually, I'm going to move this back a little. Alright, so that'll be our early warning station. And along with that, let's go ahead and get our two Tomcats airborne, launch as a group, and add reference point here, and add another reference point here. Aerial refueling points. And new mission, support mission. Refueling one. And for right now, going to go ahead and assign one. Go ahead and assign one of our Hercules to this mission. No one third roll, single aircraft, Vision MCON, all right, all good there, and deselect those two points, actually I'm going to move this back a little farther, and we can go ahead and sit start. So, okay, I am playing the Quick Strike 1999 scenario in Command Modern Air Naval Operations today. I actually should go. Alright, so there goes our two Tomcats. So they're both airborne. All right, so we're gonna send our Tomcats, see if they can go shake the hornet's nest a little bit. And wait for our early warning aircraft to get onto station. Selected units only. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and send our two Tomcats. Alright, 
Um, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and move my early warning a little closer. Doesn't quite have the range out there. So I'm going to set up a post that's actually probably a little too close. I will, uh, I'll check it out for uh, one of the streams, uh, Sergey. Um, to be honest, I actually prefer smaller scenarios for stream than I do larger ones. All right, so still no what these guys, what are they at? They should go to cruise if they're not already. Okay, so we are now within radar coverage of the two air bases. And so far, nothing. So let's go ahead. We do have to do a flyover of Manila. So we'll go here, here, and then we'll pull back. Still no sign of anything. Let's go ahead and drop our altitude down. Let's go down to 12,000 feet. Actually, if we're gonna do a show of, or not really a show of force, but let's go down, let's say 2,000 feet. Oh, no, they're at their strike radius. They have to go and refuel. Oops. 